Now, are there cities that have more diabetes, type 2 diabetes, than other cities? Absolutely. And guess which city is the diabetes capital of the world? It is a city that is very close to my heart, and it's exactly where I trained. Research shows that Mobile, Alabama, it is the diabetes capital of the world. So there is a bunch of it. It is so insane because I didn't really grasp this until I'm actually recording these videos that I'm realizing that type 2 diabetes was the worst when I was in this city, in Mobile, Alabama, which is where I trained. And I can definitely relate because almost every one of my patients when I, when I worked in the clinic there in Mobile, Alabama, had type 2 diabetes. And, and so, and, and the research that shows is, is mainly the research from the Gallup study. Uh, and as you can see here, so these are the states that have the worst type 2 diabetes. As we mentioned, Florida is pretty bad. Texas is pretty bad. Hawaii is pretty bad where I'm at right now. Alabama is really bad and Mississippi pretty bad too. Um, I guess in terms of the state is not as worse, but as what, as what you can see right here, as you can see right here, Mobile, Alabama, right there, is the capital, diabetes capital of the world. It has the highest uh, diabetes um, which is 18 percent 18 percent in that crazy that this is where a lot of you are from naturally I didn't even plan it this way but this is what happens and so it is evident that you know there is a big problem of course but then after that is Charleston and then Corpus Christi Texas I mean throughout the whole nation of course there is a lot of work to do and a lot of this research comes out of a lot of the research that I've actually shown in the past, which has to do with um, the Gallup score. And as you can see here, Mobile, Alabama is the, um, I'm gonna just annotate it right here. Yeah, right here, 17.7% highest diabetes in the country. So pretty wild. Um, so do you think that your city has an impact on your health? Absolutely, it does. Um, and so it's really important to be aware of this because then we can understand why that is and you can create your own environment. I mean, of course, moving is one option, but, you know, we don't have to move and a lot of people want to move and, and, and you can create your own environment because within each city, there are actually neighborhoods that have better incidence, better scores. And so it's not like you have to move to that neighborhood, but then we can learn from other cities and you can implement these things into your life to avoid what's happening.